Hi guys, welcome back to virtual session on Java. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about how we can construct package, how we can construct public classes inside package to import it into the another package. As we know in inheritance, we have to extend a extend a base class to the derived class. So mostly base class means exist class, the classes which we already defined in prior projects. So in such situations, we need to ex we need to import them from the different package to the current package and extend them. Let us discuss this using VS Code so that how to construct the package how to import the classes from the package to the another package that will be clear to us. I am creating a folder by the name of demo java. Now in java folder term that's a package. So I am having the base package by the name of demo java. Let's switch to the VS code cmd. desktop demo java and switch to the package if you write code dot code dot means it will pick up that particular project but particular folder and open the vs code now we are in the demo java so here what we will do, we will create a file called as taste.java. Now taste.java is in the demo java package. So here I am writing a code for a taste java. This file is in default package. What is that default package? Demo Java. So you can write import java.lang.star. I'm planning to have a main method in test.java. Class test and here is the main method okay i'm adding the code later on now i'm planning to construct a derived class which is extending from base but now this derived class is in the same package but the base class I am planning to keep it in a different package and try to import it. So let us construct a package, sub package. So create a new folder by the name of any name you can give it to that package is like a folder name. So maybe my pk or you can name it demo pk demo pk for the demo demonstrating package okay and in the demo pk you can create a new file by the name of base dot java Now we are in the package called as demo pk and in the, inside that demo pk package we have a file called as base.java. So 
we are in the more picky package. So here we'll give the description of it package demo okay it describes that this particular class file this particular java file is belongs to package demo pk okay then if you want to import a class from another package to another package for example there are two packages demo java is one package and demo pk is another package so if you want to import all the classes belongs to demo pk to demo java then the classes which are exist in the demo pk should have be public in nature public class base what i was planning that base class need to be imported into the derived class and derived class is actually available in the demo java package and the base class is available in the demo pk package so while writing the base class which is available in the different package i am describing the package package here you have to use the keyword package package the package name public class base and here you define the definition of a base class let's say i am writing public void i am writing a test method like public void f1 and i am printing system dot out dot print ln i mean base class f1 right so we are in the demo pk package which is having the public class base and having a method public void f1 now i'll switch back to the to the package called as demo java where i am having the class derive and the test now here i have to to fetch the classes available in the demo pk package i have to use a keyword called as import import demo pk dot that all the classes currently we have we are we are having only the only one one class called as base you can directly specify the base also otherwise if you want to specify all the classes okay if you write base only base class can be can be can be imported but if you want to import all the classes belong to the demo pk package demo pk uh, sub package may have a many number of classes so right now we may, may will specify the name of that class directly now class derive exchange base now base class is actually not belong to this package so it will import that package from the demo pk package and then we can able to extend it now here i'll be defining another method public void f2 now this f2 method is actually belong to the derived class So there is a relationship between the derive and the base. Derive is extended from the base, and base is already exist. Or base is actually exists in the demo pk package. Now, get get to the test class and construct the object of derive. We construct an instance of derive. Now. due to inheritance the object of derive will get the rights to access the methods belongs to base also so we construct the object of derive and give a call to the method called as d.f1 now f1 is not a method of derive so the object of derive is if, if it is referring to the method and giving a call to the f1 method which is actually available in the demo pk package and in the base class then we successfully able to import the class at the same time inheritance also we achieved the object of derive is referring to the methods belongs to the base
due to inheritance the object of derive will get the rights to access the properties or methods belongs to base class at the same time it can refer its own properties as well now let us test this class java we compile test.java because test.java having the main method okay extend space While constructing packages, what we did, we used the capital alphabets. So here you find that demo Java at the same time demo PK packages are in the capitals. So, and uh, we initially specified in the lower case that was the problem; it wasn't accessible. So if you get the error that the package is not accessible, accessible, then check whether the the the, the like case of that particular package is so demo now here import demo pk demo pk has to be capital otherwise construct the package in low so import demo pk dot page and class derive extend page then you use java test dot java and then you compile java test i am in base class f1 and i am in derive class f2 means We are constructing the object of derive and giving call to the f1. So f1 is a method actually belongs to the base class, and base class is extending, extended to derive. So the object of derive can give a call to the base, but it has to be accessible. And the base class is available in the demo pk package. So go to the base class. Base class uh, there is a package description demo pk, and in the base class I am having a public method f1. Earlier we make a mistake that okay we constructed the package by capitals but we specify the small case. So you uh, while constructing the package, the case which you are using, you are using the same case over here. So here we successfully able to Java test dot Java. Now test is a main class and which is creating an instance of derive and derive is a class belong to the same package but extending a class from the different package demo pk which is considered the base class. If you run it, you will get the result accordingly. So this particular demonstration will explain you how we can construct a derive class, how we can import a class from the another package right? and how we can form the inheritance okay, extensive extensing the class which is available in the different package to the current class so derive class extend the properties belong to the base and the object of a derive using the proper methods belongs to the base as well as well so this is what the explanation of how we can construct the package how we can store the public class to make it accessible in the another package and use that at the same time I, I explain you how we can derive a class from base class to the derived class over. Hope you 